Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another new video. Yeah, welcome back guys. And for today's video, we are going to be eating from the air fryer for the whole day. All day and long. It's been a while since we've done a all day video, like yeah. all three meals type video. It's difficult to find a day, but yes, this is a day true. dedicated to one of the most wonderful inventions the air fryer. We have been wanting to do this video for a while. It's the perfect time because we just got a new air fryer. Yeah. We upgraded. Mixing it up. Yes. It's a different type. We got, like it's we a got, different. We've got two drawers. Words. Yeah. It's a, it's got two. It's a two drawer. We one. have a duo now. It's gonna be a mix today because that's how yeah. we we have a mix of things, you know, and we use our air fryer for a lot. Yes, we do. For breakfast, we are gonna be making like egg cups type thing. Um, basically, you think like an air fried omelet cup. Is it? I thought it was like a poached egg cup thing. No. Oh. No, no. I did not know that. Oh. I... It's like an egg muffin. Yes. We have a side. We do. In That's case actually what we're really excited fails. about. Um, but let's just get into the video. Yeah. Let's get breakfast made. I am hungry. I am hungry. So should we do it? Let's do it. So this is our shiny new air fryer. This is the Altenic K20 dual basket air fryer. Yeah, so Altenic have kindly gifted us this air fryer and we have asked if they could provide a discount code for you all as we try and get something back for you where we can. That discount code and all the links you need to know are in the description below. Yeah, and, and this is not like an affiliate offer thing. Like We don't make any money if you guys decide to buy one of these air fryers. Um, but but, you know, we just love air fryers and we wanted to share the uh, air fryer love with you. Right, this is our air fryer in question. Literally never been used. Brand new. First thing we're going to do is cook some bacon. Got a little bit of fry light in there. Which yeah, is we always like to really use helpful. That. No, I've never used it for bacon, but you it have. It cooks bacon yeah. wicked. Straight in? Straight in. Oh. Right, so 200, we want to. We only want this for like. Eight minutes, and then you just press play. Play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Start. Hey, here we go. Right, that bacon is nice and crispy. Ooh. You're gonna chop it up. Yeah, I really recommend bacon in the air fryer. If you like crispy bacon, That is our mix. Lovely stuff. They'll go in there. Twelve minutes. Oh goodness. Twelve minutes, one fifty. Okay. Right. While well, that's going. Oh yes. We're gonna prep our second tray. We're gonna try these. Get a load of that. Beans filled hash browns. They look like veggie fingers. Two things that we love very much. Hash browns and beans. So these are from Iceland. Uh, and actually they have air fryer times on these now. Oh yeah, it's really useful actually. Air fry from Frozen. Here's what they look like. Oh, they're a lot <laughs> thicker than I thought yeah. they were going to be. That's How much do we have? Two each? Uh, yeah, two sounds good. There they go, they fit perfect, perfect in there. Alright, so let's get them in the left hand side. 200 and we're gonna go 12 minutes. There we go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna top these. More cheese? Some cheese. Okay. Mm. We've never had anything like this in no. air fryer or not. No. Pop those in, they are. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious me. They look good enough. Those look amazing. This one's ready to go. Let's see if that cheese is melted. Oh! Wow. <laughs> bubbling, bubbling. Right okay, now. breakfast. These look really good. I'm happy with how these have come out. They look like little breakfast shepherd's pies. It's nice and, yeah, good. I'm happy with it. It's nice and fluffy. It would probably even turn out. Yeah, although I think it might go like... Yeah, that's not... We won't turn it out. Can I chop these in half? I yeah, go on. See. Look at that. That is just perfection. I'll bite into this if it's not too hot. Be careful. Not too hot. I'm not sure how to eat this. Oh, here we go. 
Is that not roasting? No. Oh, okay. It's like an mm. omelette. Definitely needs salt and pepper. I don't know how oh, we forgot yeah, that. Wow. These are so good. I mean, look at the crisp on that. Yum. That's the thing for, for like air fryers, they do so well with anything that needs a little bit of crisp. Salt and pepper on that. And then I don't know if ketchup with eggs is a weird thing, but. I've never been on board with that personally. Oh. I like eggs and ketchup. I'll salt and pepper my own then, shall I? Oh yeah, sorry about that. Oh. Really easy to make. Hot. And you could put anything you want in it, really, right? Well, after cooling it down ever so slightly, that is yummy. For me, these hash brown baked bean mm. things are an absolute winner. Would buy again 100%. Mm. The actual flavour or the taste of the hash brown is good too. It's not it too much yeah, baked beans. No. But the actual like hash brown is good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> We've got a few things for lunch. Mm. Sort of two or three elements for lunch, right? Yeah, we have like a picky lunch, mm. like a beige lunch. So freezer central. Buzzing for it. No judgment here. Love some stuff from the freezer. Yeah. We are going to be trying some stuff that we've been wanting to try for a long time. Have we tried any of this stuff? No. But we've seen this so many times. And we, thought, we should get that. We should get that. This was perfect for the air fryer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, so fly. Flies. Tis the season. Anyway, we'll see you at lunch. We have got a frozen feast for lunch. Every single thing here we have seen so many times and we've been buzzing to try and never really got around to it. We just kept putting it off. So we have knickknacks, rib and saucy flavour shredded chicken. This stuff looks wicked. And that sort of stuff that does really well in the air fryer, huh? And then we have TJ Friday's mac and cheese balls. You are a massive fan of mac and cheese yeah, balls. Yeah, baby. And then we have the real McCoy's full on flavour waffle. Oh, I've just realised that they're. Basically, waffle that fries. That flavour, yeah. Yeah. Uh, flame grilled steak flavour potato shapes. So, a little bit of a mix. Right, how many are you thinking? Two each. Yeah. So, the waffle cup potato is going to have its own tray. God, they're big. Waffle things and the mac and cheese bites. And then these need to go in after five minutes in there. Yeah. Okay. A little beige feast. Buzzing. There's the McCoy fries, and there's the chicken, and the mac and cheese. It's all cooked really lovely in the air fryer. Let's give it a try. Here we have them. Ooh. This all took about 15 minutes. So quick. Yeah. Although it is to say that some of these take similar time in the oven. But yes. it's a little bit quicker, I think, yeah, in most cases. Definitely. One thing I would say, though, if, if you're new to air fryers, is not to overstack the food, especially mm. when it comes to like chips and stuff, because that's how they become yeah, soggy. That's true. If you want to get them crispy, they need room. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't overdo it. There you go. Look at them. Well, they do taste like them. I was going to say, like, it's more of an aftertaste, yeah. but it does taste like them. Do they mm. do the salt and vinegar one? Mm. That's the best flavour. It actually, like, it tastes kind of, um, for me, the flavour tastes like a bit, like an overdone potato at first. Mm. Like, slightly burnt, mm. but you're like, mm, it's nice, but there's a few crispy bits on it. Mm. So it, it, I, that's why at first I thought, oh, it doesn't have that flavour. Yeah. Then as soon as that settles, the aftertaste is that It's a bit smoky. Grilled. Yeah. Let's move on to the knick-knack. What are they called? Nice and spicy? Mm. No, nice and spicy. Oh, no, no. This what is the ones? ribs and spicy. Ribs and spicy. Here they are. Looks nice. Mm. So I think we just try it. Just yeah. try as is. No sauce. Grab a piece. No sauce for now, I don't think. 
you know, I can't remember what the, this flavour of knickknacks tastes like. The orange pack was always my favourite. Quite subtle. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not getting much, I'll be honest. It's really nice. Mm. It is nice, like the actual thing itself. I'm just trying to think if I could find a flavour that I recognise, but I can't really. No, a little bit. I it's actually okay. prefer the wedges. Mm. Uh, the, they're not wedges, I keep calling them wedges. Waffles, waffle chips, better than that so far. I think we should try this chicken with some sweet chilli sauce. Now we're talking. Is that better? Spicy that. There's a little scent there, yeah. Mm. A little bit leave it for me. Mm. I like the chicken. I'm just not sold on the flavour. No. Uh, or the seasoning, shall we say. Right. Mac and cheese bites then. The TGI mac and cheese bites. This is so you. They cooked really well. Do you reckon they'll be roasting on the inside? I think so. Nice colour. <gasps> Look at that. The creations that people think of. Whoever you know? thought of these is a legend. Cooked really nicely. Mm -hmm. Mac and cheese would never be my sort of go to, but put it in that form. They are sensational. What a treat that is. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Those are really nice. They're very good. You no, know, the whole TJ Friday range actually looked very good. It did, good. yeah. We could do a whole video. On TGI Friday range from yeah. Iceland. For me, the mac and cheese and the waffles are here, and the chickens are here. Yeah, okay, that's lunch. Chill out a little bit, and then we'll be back at dinner. And dinner again is a whole other different. I forgot about. We've not even mentioned dessert. Oh yeah, we're dessert. making the dessert. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. We're making a dessert. There's dessert too. And it is going to be legit the best thing in this video i think all right guys so uh we are back ready for some dinner prep uh we've been out we actually left the house um <laughs> we always leave the house i know but sunday's attempting right just to never leave well with the wimbledon on it was it yeah. was tempting now we are going to make dinner but prep for dessert first yes right that's because we are going to try making some cookies in the air fryer in theory it should be amazing we're going to just make a normal like a very basic cookie, butter, two types of sugar, flour, eggs, a little bit of bicarbonate soda, and uh, milk, 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 <laughs> milk, milk, <laughs> milk, chocolate chips, and some vanilla extract. Melting the butter. I got you a spoon. Don't need a spoon. No spoon. The key to baking, in my opinion, is one of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Silicon. Silicon. Some people may bake to different. That's 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 their truth. That's fine. But when you're trying to scrape out the mix at the end of the day, you'll be grateful you've got one of these. Now the best bit. Chocolate chips. The recipe says 300 grams, which is three of these bags. What? Yeah. We're gonna use this bag from Audi, it's only 100 grams. It's all going in. Here it is, the cookie dough. Looks good. Yum, yum, I might go hands. Gotta be handsy with it. So we're gonna make four relatively... Should we stuff them? Oh no, let's, let's not... Let's not deviate, yeah. Issue. I was thinking we could put some Biscoff in. Oh, we could. But maybe we just stick with the recipe. <laughs> Right, into the fridge they can go. No five. Ready to go? Dinner time. We're gonna be doing one of our like most favorite, easiest air fryer dinners you've ever seen in your life. We're basically <laughs> gonna be doing some little roast potatoes, just white potatoes chopped up into little chunks, like that. Uh, we're gonna put those in. Oh, oh. roast potato. I've just soaked them in some water. Okay. Um, so they're going to go in there. A little bit of seasoning. I'm going to be rotating these quite a bit. We're going to do 200. We're going to need about 20 minutes, I think, on these at least. Oh, dear me. And there we go. And we've also got salmon. 
Did I say what we were doing? Yeah. No. No. What did you say? <laughs> no. He said no. Salmon, potatoes, and broccoli. Yeah. Salmon, potatoes, and broccoli. Or maybe you did say. I can't all remember. All in the air fryer, and then we love a little bit of paprika on our salmon. See, I wonder. Comment down below if you have had or as like standard have paprika on your salmon because mum's mum does it. Yeah. So we do it, and I don't know how common that is. I don't know, but it tastes amazing. I've We've never not tried it. seen it anywhere else or yeah. heard it in like a, a restaurant. No. Um, but yeah, Try we it. really love paprika, although it's not held back, Jesus. No, least. you need loads. Skin side down, and that paprika is going to make the top of it go really nice and crispy, uh, but it also be really soft inside. Mm. So the broccoli. It, it's like roasted. It's like roasted broccoli. I'm going to put that on, on top of the potatoes probably for the last five minutes. And that's it, really. Oh, God. Because we yeah. like our broccoli quite crunchy anyway. Yeah. Uh, and if you've not tried roasted broccoli before, it's really nice. Do you not need to boil it a little bit first? No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it really. So this is all going to go in. Potatoes, 20 minutes. Salmon, 10 minutes. Broccoli, 5 minutes. Bish bash bosh. That'll be dinner. So in 10 minutes, we'll put the salmon in and, and wrestle up the potatoes a bit. Every 5 minutes, I'm going to give these potatoes a little rustle. Okay. Yeah. That's dinner. Okay, here we have it. It doesn't look like anything special, <laughs> but... It's Go to, yeah, it's a very quick and easy meal, all done in the air fryer. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so we have this quite a lot, but we've never done all of it in the air fryer. No. Broccoli normally is a pan fry. But we have dish. done broccoli in the air fryer. You can see that like it's just gone a little bit brown on the edges, but... Crispy. Crispy. You can see that the salmon is really nice and flaky. And again, this meal goes really well. With some sweet chili sauce. I remember when we first met, I could not get on board with sweet chili and fish. I know it's a classic combo. I was like, no, not for me. And now I'm totally on, it does work. on the train. Also, I couldn't recommend potatoes enough in the air fryer. Mm. You can make full roasties, just anything. They are good part boiled too if they're a bit bigger. Hello you ready? There. Yes, ready for the cookies. I read somewhere that they say to obviously put some greaseproof paper down, but then make a few holes. Oh, okay. So we'll put it in for 10. There's even a cake option. Mm. We'll go 160 for 10. Mm. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It smells glorious. The cookies are out. Bit of crunch on top. Nice and gooey in the middle. Mm. Nice and gooey. That looks good. That looks so good. It ended up being a little bit longer in the end. Yeah, it? we Just did like case. another four minutes. Okay, yeah, so 14 um, minutes. Because the recipe that we were following was like to make like 15 cookies. Oh, okay. And Definitely we made them got... too big. <laughs> Maybe I about. I probably got like 10. Eight or ten, That's I'd quite say. A lot, yeah. yeah, so they're a bit bigger. How do you want to do it? Do you just want to just, just try, try it? it? Honest review. They're good. That is so good. Is it like gooey but mm. also got a crunch? Mmm. Oh. Oh look at that. So soft still. So soft. They've literally just come out of the air fryer. That is good. Mmm, when you get the melted bit of chocolate. Mm. That's it for our air fryer day. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back soon with some more content. Um, but for today, we'll say thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.